I was just test fitting the J35 crank in our J30 AC block. Um, I mean, it fits. It has clearance for it. So, I mean, it looks like um, we should be able to stroke one of these engines in the near future. So what does that mean? Essentially, the J30 AC comes with an 86 millimeter stroke, I believe. And what I basically got in here right now is a 93 millimeter stroke crank from a previous generation J series. So, um, yeah, we're gonna be able to, I, have, I don't know what the exact displacement would that be, probably like a 3.3 .3 liter if we left it as an 86 millimeter bore or somewhere in that area. I'd have to actually put in the calculator to figure it out. But I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna take this crank out and I'm gonna show you guys a comparison of the new J30 AC block right next to the old original J30 A4 block and just kind of look over the differences between the generations of the J series. All right, so this is the original J30 A4 block. As um, most of you know, this is a four bolt main. We got two bolts coming in from the top and we got two going in from the sides. The major difference here on the newer um, J30 AC blocks or the new TLX Type S, um, these are gonna use a four bolt main on the top and then two on the side. So you can actually call this a six bolt main cap. I'm gonna go ahead and get all these back into place. We actually just got this block back from CSS, so we actually um, got the cylinder walls done. And I'll show you guys that once I get this block flipped back over. Let me just go ahead and get all the main caps put back in. Because I'm gonna put this block away once I've closed it all up. Pretty much all Hondas are pretty much the same when it comes to um, how to put the main caps in. They're all numbered, just like um, in the, if the older generation motors, you can see these are one, two, three, four. One always starts at the timing belt and, and the arrow points towards the timing belt. It's the same with the J30 AC. We got a number two here and we got an arrow on this side pointing towards the timing belt. And that lets me know what direction to put the main caps back in place. Couple of these, you see I got a bearing in here. I was actually just test fitting a bearing from a previous generation motor, just so that when I rest the crank in there, it had a surface to sit on. So this is number three, arrow facing towards the timing belt. Just rest this one in place. All right, now I just gotta get all my bolts back in. So these we got the two um, bigger ones and we got two small, two smaller head bolts. Or these look like it's about an eight millimeter. These are about a 10 millimeter. So I get them all. So I got both blocks upside down. Before I flip them over, I wanna go ahead and show you that this block is set up for oil squirters. So if, if you look down in the cylinder here, we have um, basically a threaded hole here and we got this. So basically the oil squirter will come out of here and will face towards the bottom of each piston so that each piston is squirted um, from the bottom for lubrication and cooling. That's something that you see on pretty much all the newer Honda motors. Whereas in this block, the J30A4, this motor never had squirters in it. So you can see down in here, this is just all blocked off. There's nothing in there. Now there are some of the older J series that do have the oil squirters, but that wasn't around when the J30A4 first came out, or at least not in the J series. So that's one improvement on the newer block versus the old. All right, so this block, was sent over to CSS. You can see their logo right in here. They went ahead and machined the sleeve support in this block. According to CSS, he believes this block is rated for about a thousand horsepower. Um, we already made pistons for them. We already made rods. So once we actually put this motor together, I mean, we pretty much got a block that's gonna be ready to go for a thousand horsepower. Um, I actually have a pair of the brand new cams here, but haven't checked like, you know, how much lift or anything that's in those factory cams yet. 
I guess that's something that we'll have to check out here soon, but block itself looks great. It's ready to go. Uh, let me get this one flipped over. All right. So for those of you wondering what the CSS is, you can see that this is a block support that is went ahead and machined into here. Whereas you can see that these uh, stone walls are floating design. And this is basically where all the water goes through the block to, for cooling. This still allows for the same amount of cooling. It's just a little bit uh, lower down. And we still have all the holes drilled in here that allows the water to come up to the cylinder heads and to help channel water everywhere that the cylinder heads need as well. So this block does not, has not been CSS, which this block will go to CSS next and will look very similar to that block once it's done. The bore spacing is all the same. All the positions for all of the head studs, head bolts, all of that is the same. One thing I can see up here though, which is similar to the Honda J35Y engines, it is using a two knock sensor. We got one per bank. Whereas the older engine, we only have one knock sensor. And this is actually, um, was shared for the whole engine. So without test fit anything, I mean, looking at the water pump on this block, and well, the water pump area or the housing on this block and this block, I mean, it looks very similar. You can almost, you would almost guess that they might bolt up, but I can actually tell that the space in here is a little bit different from that one. The oil pump area is almost identical as well too. Um, even here, and this is where we mount our time belt tensioner. They literally are using the same spot on the block as well. So Honda definitely kept it very, very similar. I, I would bet retrofitting a lot of these things is not going to be that complicated to do. With that, I'm going to go ahead and try to see if the cylinder head fits on one of the older blocks. So I got the J30AC head right here. This is dual overhead. I'm going to go ahead and pull the um, dual overhead cam. This one actually, you can see that the cam, the valve cover is the actual cam caps. But I'm going to rest that aside for a minute. There's a little plate here. Rest this aside. This is the all new Type S head. And I have what I'm doing here is uh, I'm building a J35, what engine is this? This is a J35A7. So this is a little bit of an older block. And I'm literally just gonna see how close this is. This has ARP head studs in it. And look at that. That thing fits right on. This is the dual overhead cam. TLX Type S J30 AC cylinder head on an older J35 A block. I mean, it literally bolts right on. I was looking at the water jackets earlier, and I mean, they're the same. So, again, being able to go dual overhead cam on an older J series and it is going to be very possible here in the near future. There we go, finished. <laughs> dual overhead cam J series. Well, that's it for today. I hope you guys learned a little something. See some of the differences between the older gen blocks and the newer gen blocks. Basically see a lot of the similarities that Honda put in there. Hope you enjoyed this video. Hope you enjoyed watching. If you did, please like it. Please hit that like button, subscribe, and hit the bell icon so you can be notified anytime we drop a new video. I'll see you guys again soon.